10 stupid lottery winners. Willie Hurt, $3.1 million. In 1989, family man and well-respected citizen Willie Hurt won the jackpot in the Michigan lottery. Over the next two years, he burned through a large portion of his cash on a crack cocaine addiction. This led to his divorce as well as losing custody of his children. The divorce cost him the majority of what was left of his money. Once broke, Mr. Hurt was convicted of murdering his girlfriend during an alcohol and drug binge. Jose Antonio Quantock, $750,000. Jose had been staying in the U.S. illegally when he won a lottery in Georgia. He asked his boss, Eric Cervantes, to claim the money for him. Mr. Cervantes claimed the money for himself, and as a result, Mr. Quietok took his employer to court. In the end, after many legal issues, the majority of the money was spent on attorney fees and punitive charges. Evelyn Adams, $5.4 million. This lucky New Jersey lady won the lottery twice over the course of two years for a grand total of $5.4 million. Perhaps feeling high on her luck, she decided to take her winnings to the casinos in Atlantic City. To say the least, her luck did not hold up as she gambled most of it away and now resides in a trailer park. Vivian Nicholson, 152,319 pounds. When Vivian's husband won a lottery football pool in 1961, she decided to take liberty to spend, spend, spend. Vivian became detached from friends and family while spending her husband's winning on haute couture. After her husband was killed in a car accident, Vivian spiraled even further down the spending spree hole. In the end, she became penniless and completely removed from her family and friends. Callie Rogers, 1.9 million pounds. In 2003, 16-year-old Callie Rogers won the UK's lottery. Her youthful age may have played a part in her money-managing skills. Callie went under much cosmetic surgery, bought a bunch of houses, and went on luxury vacations. But in the end, she moved back in with her mother along with her two kids from a deadbeat boyfriend. William Post, 16 million. Within three months of receiving his first annual payment, William was already $500,000 in debt after buying a restaurant and an airplane. Family members crawled out of the woodwork to get a piece of the winnings, including an ex-girlfriend who sued him for a share and won. Even his brother hired a hitman to kill William in an attempt to inherit the money but failed. Within a year, Mr. Post was $1 million in debt and spent some time in jail after taking a shot at a bill collector. Denise Rossi, $1.3 million. When Denise Rossi won the California Lotto, she decided to leave her husband and keep the winnings for herself. Two years later, the ex-husband learned of her reason for leaving him and decided to sue Denise for not disclosing her winnings in the divorce. In the end, the judge awarded him with 100% of the winnings and left Denise broke. Amanda Clayton, $1 million. Amanda Clayton was known to her neighbors as a degenerate and a drug user. Her winning the lottery only added fuel to the fire. Clayton was eventually arrested for collecting welfare checks despite now being a millionaire. After spending some time in jail and paying fines for welfare fraud, she died of a drug overdose. Americo Lopez, $24 million. When Americo Lopez won a cool $24 million, he decided to retire from work and live the good life. Mr. Lopez failed to mention that winning the lottery came from a split share of tickets from five other fellow employees. His ex-co-workers took him to court and got their rightful earnings. Mr. Lopez had to give up $20 million of the winnings along with legal fees. Michael Carroll, 9.7 million pounds. In 2002, the self-proclaimed King of Chaves, Michael Carroll won the jackpot in Britain's National Lottery. Over the course of five years, he spent all his cash in the fast lane with cocaine, hookers, and demolition derbies in his own backyard. Mr. Carroll now works at a biscuit factory after he could not get his old job back as a garbage man. 